Hey there, YouTube. So yesterday I had to rewire a bunch of stuff. Uh, I was replacing switches and adding an outlet, and when they took the hot wire into the outlet box, the previous person had daisy-chained the switches using two wires under one screw, you know. And um, so I had to make a big pigtail and have wires leading out to the hot side of each switch. And uh, it got me thinking, a lot of people on YouTube seem to think that you need to twist wire nuts um, before you put a wire nut on. Now I know that some instructions say that, and that's fine. If the manufacturer says that, do it. But most don't say to do that. They say to take the two wires, about one inch, and they line them up next to each other, even, and screw it on. So, um, that's what I did. And I've used wire nuts before, and I've never had any worries, but this, in this such occasion, I had to use a four, I had to use four 12 gauge wires under one wire nut to do the connections. And it got me thinking, how secure really is a wire nut? So today I'm going to test a wire nut. This one is properly rated for four 12 gauge wires. It's an ideal wire nut. I don't have very good lighting right here, but yeah, it's a green wire nut. So I'm doing this, I want to talk about people taping wire nuts. Um, if you feel that you have to tape a wire nut, you don't have the right wire nut, or you're not, or you're not too sure of your work, and you should always be 100% sure of your work and working with electrical. Some people think, oh, it'll come, it keeps it from coming loose, or it'll keep another wire from stabbing up inside of it. I don't think that's going to happen. A wire's not going to stab up inside of it randomly. I'm not an electrician. I'm just a very anal DIYer. I will spend a crazy amount of money to make sure something's done right when I could have just frickin' paid someone. That's happened so many times. But I've learned, and learning is what life is about. And if I'm doing any of this wrong, I want people to call me out and provide facts, provide sources. Happy to learn. I got these wires. Hard to keep on camera. Even mount. Four conductors here. Get them all pushed together. Alright, I'm gonna screw this on with all my might. <sighs> Which, since I hurt my finger, it's not very Alright, so I twisted it so hard, you'll see that the wires kind of twisted around each other. That's a pretty good indication, especially with this rigid of wire, that you've twisted it hard enough to keep the cap on. And so I'm going to take these wires now and have some fun with them. Look at that. I'm going to put some music here. Yeah, shit's moving in the wall. Look at that. Look at that. Nothing. Alright. Now. Let's try to take this wire nut off. <clears throat> it's not coming off. Okay. Now let's pull one wire out. One wire out. Nope. Alright. Let's untwist that. We'll pull this wire out. in the arm with it. Alright. Come on. Come on. Get. Call the fire. Come on. Oh, look at that. A properly twisted wire nut is going to take a heck of a lot of work to come out. The only reason that came out is because I started to unscrew them, but... To, uh, while I'm doing this, because this is not fun, uh, while, to add to this, 
people that think, oh, well, if the wire gets pulled on, it's going to come out of the wire nut. Your wire should be secured before they get to the wire nut, either by your box or to the wall, or to the, I mean to the stud, to the stud bay, somehow, a Romex staple, ham the things you hammer in. Um, Alright, I'm going to crank that down one more time. Alright. This probably is the best example since I hurt my finger and that really hurts and my left hand is pretty weak. But, let's keep twisting. Okay, now they're back in there. Let's just subject them to some household vibration. They came out. I'm not going to edit that out. They actually came out. Oh, that's why. That's why they came out. It's not because... Because I actually broke the wire nut when I was slamming against the table. So, another wire nut. See how there's, like, marks on there? That's where the wire nut actually bit in to the copper. Because the material on the top of the wire nut is harder than copper, so it bites into it. Properly done wire nut will not have any copper showing around the bottom. If that's so, a wire has been pushed out. I'm going to take a look up inside there and make sure you don't see any copper. Alright, so back to testing. Subject them to putting them in the box, take them out of the box, put them in the box, take them out of the box, put them into the box. In the box, out of the box, in the box, out of the box, out of the box, in the box. Alright, check it now. Let's see, we've got the wires kind of wrapped a little bit, so it's on twisties. I have too much free time, if you can't tell. Okay. And they're loose, and I'm hitting them. I kind of want them to come out, because it makes it look like I break the test. Because I don't know if they should be staying in there right now. Alright, so full disclosure, since I'm all about facts, uh, I cannot properly simulate the expansion and contraction, however minuscule, of the copper when current is flowing through it. So that's something that could maybe loosen the wire nut. Um, but if you really got it on there, it should hold the wires close enough together that it doesn't really matter. Alright, how about done with this video, because I think I made my point. Come on, come on, you fucker. Stay myself in the eye. I think one started to budge. Nope. Oh, okay. See a little copper there. Must be coming out. But I'm really pulling on this. There's no... I can hang a weight off of it or something. But okay. Alright, YouTube. So, I got to thinking. I was like, let's put a weight on it. I can't show you how hard I'm pulling. Uh, but this should get my point across. Now... So I have the wire tied through this D-clip. Um, the one Romex wire is wrapped around here. These ones are just resting. They're not holding any weight. But this one has all the weight on it, this Romex. 
tied to this D clip, tied to this ceiling beam. Now, you'll see that the string is being held by the wire nut. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kick this boxing bag to show that it is actually being held up by just the wire nut. Standing very far back because I don't want this thing to land on my foot. Alright, let's try to kick that again. Kick it again. Uh oh. Kick it again. Oh, that's got to be too much for it. I don't know how that's holding on. Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> I think the, the copper wire is starting to make noise. Oh, I'm twisting it around. The wire knot is spinning. Okay. Oh, here's the spectator. What are you doing? Alright. Oh, that got it. Jesus. Oh, the rope broke. So the rope broke. It didn't actually pull the wire out. The rope just broke. Since I have this here, I'm going to untie the rope here. Okay. And since we have it here, see this other cord, this wasn't hooked up either, just FYI. See, only this one. It's a better, a better illustrate that. Let's uh, wrench on these. I'll pull my house down. Alright, uh, just for fun, let's use one of these wires to tie up the bag and see if Notice the safety glasses. So, if you can hear me over my furnace fan, here's the apparatus. Oh, that wire nut's about to break just by sheer force. Oh, shit. Look at it stretch. Look at that stretching. <laughs> it's not letting go. It's not letting go. It will let go. It's not invincible. But I think this proves my point. See it swinging? See the bag swinging? It is holding the entire weight of this bag on that wire nut. So that wire goes all the way up to that. And now I'm going to break the wire nut because there's no way it can withstand this much force for this long. That is amazing. Get interactive on this. Come on. <laughs> Alright, let's go left to right. That's gotta do it. That's gotta do it. Come on. Alright, so it's actually stretched. Stretched the wire. And now the bag is on the floor. 
So I'm going to give it one good kick, and I think this will get it. And that got it. So, there's the wire nut. Got a flashlight on this. Oh, holy crap. The wire... Stop moving. The wire actually broke off. I get to stop moving. The wire broke off of the wire that was holding the bag. It's still right there. Here's where the wire broke off. Let's put this bag on a scale and see how much it weighs. But it looks like it weighs around 70 pounds. There's the wire that broke. See, there was four conductors, so you got one, two, three, and then the fourth broken one. The wire actually broke before the wire nut let go. That's pretty amazing. I didn't use a tool to tighten the wire nut down or anything either. And the wires were not twisted together before I put them in here. As a matter of fact, they were kind of messed up before I put them in here. So I pulled the wire nut apart, just so you could see what it looks like inside, in case you were curious. Nothing too extravagant. It's a metal coil that holds the wires. So the harder you push it in, the deeper it gets. The spring, the coil stretches, and so it's, it exerts a pinching force on it. This sucker is like barely in there. This one. But it's still in there after all that. Thanks for watching.